According to Italian prosecutors, this mountain of waste hides the treasure of Don Vito, the former mafia mayor of Palermo, who died 10 years ago. We are on the outskirts of Bucharest, the Romanian capital. This dump is called Ocul Bolui, the bull's eye. It covers 114 hectares and is filled with the capital's waste. It is a large, fruitful business. But not for those who live right by the garbage. We can't drink the water. I only buy bottled water. Fruit and vegetables are no longer edible. I can't leave my home before late morning because of the smell. Did you see the garbage reach all the way up to my garden? They are not allowed to dump it there, so near to my house. We decide to go and speak to local politicians in the nearby town of Popesti Leodeni. The regional councillor agrees to meet us and even to show us the contract with the company that operates the landfill site, Ecorec. It secured lease of the land for only $5,000 a month, a bargain according to him. Something around five or maybe six persons was really implicated in that business and uh, they really have a uh, uh, grow up of healthy, of his uh, day healthy. How much, for example? Something around a uh, million of euro. The Italian judiciary suspects Don Vito's son of laundering his father's money through this business. Icarac is the subsidiary of another Romanian company, Agenda 21, run by two Italian entrepreneurs, the Pilari brothers. It's not possible to get in this uh, landfill. No, no, in no. In an easy way. In an easy way. We have not access on that field. They if don't you should let anyone get Anyone, it. anyone. We decide to go directly to the landfill site to try and meet the manager, Viktor Dombrovsky. Peace. Journalista or news? What do you want to, to... I can, can I speak with the manager of the... If I can't want to make a photo, I don't... But we can't call Viktor Dombrovsky to have... Uh, I don't have that phone. I tell you, really. You don't have the number. No. Write your name, where you come from, uh, what do you want. Do you have the number of Viktor Dombrovsky? No, no. Nobody has the number. No, I'm sorry. When, do you, when did you see him the last time? The last year. Last year. The manager of Ekorek rarely appears in the media. Few journalists have written about him. Tiberiu Lovin is one of them. Viktor Dombrovsky is a very interesting person, yet very well hidden from the media. He's a former general at the SIE, Romania's external intelligence service. So he worked for the Secret Service and has connections to very important people in Romania, politicians, businessmen, media owners. Over time, he developed all kinds of businesses, and this is how we get to the connection with the Pilari brothers. The Romanian media don't speak about the Ecorec case. Its capital is considered clean. Italian prosecutors have a different opinion. To learn more, we're off to Palermo. Palermo is home to Circo, a company Italian magistrates believe recycles the Ciancimino capital in Romania through another Romanian firm, Agenda 21. In turn, Agenda 21 owns a majority stake in Ecorec, which runs the landfill site near Bucharest. In 2005, the Italian judiciary seized all three companies. According to the prosecutor, the money invested in Romania is part of the fortune accumulated by Don Vito, the former mayor of Palermo, through mafia activity. His son Massimo, according to the court, is trying to hide the family fortune in Romania. Vito Ciancimino came from Corleone. He was a city councillor in charge of public works in Palermo for 13 years under the famous Sack of Palermo administration, when the city's entire economic life depended on the building industry. 
Those 300 million euros, which is the value of the landfill site, the largest in Europe, is that your treasure invested in Romania? I'll answer right away. I've never been in Romania. I think it was proved by the courts that Massimo Ciancimino has never been to Romania. Surely if you have treasure somewhere, at least you go there. Do you know a person named Viktor Dombrovsky, your alleged business contact in Romania? No, I don't know him. No idea. He has a name that sounds like a social security number. I don't know him. I have no idea. It's such an ugly name. But the court has a very different opinion about Massimo Ciancimino's activities. He is never directly involved in the management of the company. If he needs to buy or sell or to buy materials to produce biogas, he intervenes only when he needs to make money. He does not care about managing the landfill site. He is only interested in managing corporate changeovers to make sure he keeps control over these companies. According to the court, Viktor Dombrovsky played a key role in ECOREC changing hands back in 2007 to avoid judicial control. Circo drastically cut its investments in Agenda 21 and ECOREC. A fictitious debt allowance was created and Agenda 21's shares in ECOREC were auctioned. The buyer was a new Romanian company, Alzalea, which the court believes is linked to Ciancimino. The court in Palermo did try to oppose the auction but failed because the date of the hearing was set to after the sale. The judge ordered the seizure of the new company controlling Ecorec, but all she got was a few lorries. Instead of being handed over administrative control, we were given physical property, which is of very little importance, seven trucks in all. Talks are open with Romania to clarify the issue. They have answered our request, but in fact the company hasn't been seized. We will definitely ask for the Italian government to intervene if we don't succeed through the judiciary. So you're not giving up on this? No, it's not finished, that's for sure. The hunt for the treasure of Don Vito continues, but according to Romanian legal experts, it will be difficult to find any links to businesses in Romania. Romanian authorities say they can't speak about this case while the investigation is ongoing. And the country's anti-mafia body DECOT says it's collaborating with the Italian justice system. As a rule, when we get a request to confiscate goods from a judiciary abroad, including from Italy, we execute it. According to our internal regulations and the Italian authorities' request, we'll follow the standard procedures governing the case. To recover all the money laundered and invested in Romania.